domestic and sexual violence against women is not simply a government problem. It's a problem that requires a response from each and every one of us, from each Australian citizen. So with a focus on collaboration and partnership, this COAG Summit will help steer the way forward. But first, I wish to pay a special warm welcome to a number of dignitaries who are with us today. The Honourable Malcolm Turnbull, Prime Minister, welcome. The Honourable Dame Quinton Bryce, Chair of the Domestic and Family Violence Implementation Council. The Honourable Michael Baird, Premier of New South Wales. The Honourable Daniel Andrews, Premier of Victoria. The Honourable Jay Wetherill, Premier of South Australia. The Honourable Will Hodgman, Premier of Tasmania. The Honourable Liz Harvey, Deputy Premier, Western Australia. Yvette Berry, Deputy Chief Minister of the ACT. Senator the Honourable Michaelia Cash, Minister for Women. The Honourable Shannon Fentiman, Minister for the Prevention of Domestic Violence and Family Violence Queensland. The Honourable Prue Goward, Minister for Prevention of Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault, New South Wales. The Honourable Fiona Richardson, Minister for the Prevention of Family Violence. The Honourable Zoe Betson, Minister for the Status of Women, South Australia. Jackie Petrusma, Minister for Women, Tasmania. The Honourable Dale Wakefield, Minister for Territory Families, Northern Territory. Sandra Nelson, Assistant Minister for Prevention of Family Violence, Northern Territory and members of Domestic and Family Violence Implementation Council, welcome. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it is a very distinguished list that has gathered here today for this very, very important meeting. And welcome to delegates who have come from far and wide across Australia, thank you. We have a lot of work to do today and we have a lot to get through. The theme of this summit is connect, act and change. This acknowledges that the job of reducing violence against women is a shared challenge, which requires us to forge new collaborative partnerships. This is why in December, the 2015 COAG agreed to open its doors to non-government actors and invite a genuine dialogue both here as well as through the online roundtables on one of the most important social and economic policy challenges facing Australia, violence against women. Now, many here today have participated in preparation of reports to government which have sought to tackle the issue of domestic violence. And those very important reports include the COAG Advisory Panel Report, the Not Now, Not Ever report by the Queensland Special Task Force on Domestic and Family Violence and the Victorian Royal Commission into Family Violence. These are landmark reports that provide a solid foundation for the discussions that you'll be having here today. Now, this morning we'll commence with a national showcase where examples of best practice from each jurisdiction as well as local government will be presented. Then during the morning tea break, First Ministers and Women's Safety Ministers will attend a media conference to officially launch the third action plan for the National Plan to Reduce Violence Against Women and Their Children. And you all have electronic copies of the plan on the white USB wristband provided on your delegate tables. After the morning tea break, you'll then move to your allocated round tables for the first of two discussions. The round tables provide an opportunity to discuss several critical issues, ranging from technology facilitated abuse to the effects of family violence on children, as well as the benefits new behavioural insights can bring to helping us understand the actions of perpetrators. These discussions will be supported by a facilitator who will then, after lunch, help the group summarise what's been learnt before bringing a brief synthesis of that discussion back to the summit as a whole in our wrap-up session this afternoon. The Commonwealth and Queensland Ministers for Women, the Honourable Michaelia Cash and the Honourable Shannon Fentiman, will then provide the summit close. So, as I said, a very big day ahead of us and a lot of talk. But first, 
one of the most important things, a moment to reflect on our land's heritage and tradition. And on that score, it is my great pleasure to invite to the stage songwoman Maruchi Baramba. Please make her welcome to provide the traditional welcome. Balandico, Gundel Numbler, Balandico, Gundel Numbler, Yang in die, Yan go, Gurdai, Yan go, Balandico, Gundel Numbler, Balandico, Gundel Numbler, Balandico, Gundel Numbler. Palam diko, kundal numbler, yang indai, yang go, kundai, yang go. Palam diko, kundal numbler, palam diko, kundal numbler. Ulkoiri marumba mianjinu. Let's welcome to Brisbane in the language of the Turubu people. In accordance with the customs of the collective of tribes of southeastern Queensland, I will now sing the blessing of the gathering. That is how we do a welcome to country. Thank you. Thank you to songwoman Maruchi for that very stirring welcome. And what a fitting welcome for our summer today.